guys. I uh, have to fit in my, my video kind of quick today, um, but I had so many encouraging messages from people this week, like just telling you how much they enjoyed it and they really have been learning a lot and using my cookbook and it was like really a blessing to me because you know sometimes you get beat down in this business and long nights, a lot of work, but you guys have been wonderful. And I just wanted to thank all those who reached out to me and told me how much you enjoy the videos and everything. So with that being said, um, I wanted to do one for you guys today, even though I have this huge catering downtown and I'm super proud of it. I'm doing the appetizers for a fundraiser for the Charleston Opera House. So I was asked to do it and of course I said I would. So I've got a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Um, I have abs with me today, which is helping me. She's helping me do um, some of this catering. So maybe we should show them some of the stuff that we're doing. We're starting um, like a tomato caprese, the little skewers here. And we're going to drizzle those with balsamic when we get there. Under here, I have 100 stuffed mushrooms that I've cleaned. Um, and I've taken the stems out and stuff. Already over here, I started... Um, classic bruschetta with the tomato and the red onion because I have to do 90 of those and then over here I have a bacon and onion with brown sugar and maple um, jam that I made and that's also going to go on a different bruschetta and then of course we're going to do a gorgonzola one I'm making antipasto platter so I've got so much going on but I wanted to show you how maybe you could learn to make an appetizer through this so um, in this pot right here, I've got some ground sausage going. And I'm just using this handy little tool that you can use to break it up. Because you know sometimes like you're pressed for time and you take out a, a, a package of hamburger or sausage and it's like all clumped up and you just can't get it done. If you let it cook in the pot and you use this little thing, it breaks it up nice and small. So remember, we want to make this small because we're going to put them inside of those mushroom caps. So the way that you, I had to clean all of them guys, by the way, and you know when you wash a mushroom cap, you basically, um, you take a wet paper towel and you wipe off all the dirt around it and then you have to take out the stem. So I thought making the stuffing was gonna be the biggest part, but it was actually washing a hundred of those. So um, I just wanted to let you know, don't ever submerge your mushrooms because they will become all soggy and um, really fall apart and you will not enjoy um, a soggy mushroom. Okay, so I've got, this is how I make my stuffed mushrooms. I put some Italian sausage in here and um, it was, you know, ground sausage. So now that's all cooked up because I like to cook my stuff before I stuff the mushroom because that will not cook in the same time that the mushroom will. So you always have to remember that. When you're cooking with meat, you wanna make sure it's done. We have the boys here today, so they're probably wrestling around. And Pepe is finally outside after the rain, and he is um, eating corn, but I'm sure soon he'll be digging in the mud. That's been a problem. Okay, so in mine, I like to put a little bit of peppers and onions because that gives a lot of flavor. And because I am pressed for time, I actually found this at the grocery store, like the combination like this, I'm gonna put it in my food processor. Make it really simple. We're gonna just pulse these up, throw them in a bowl. And it's almost like the perfect amount, to be honest with you. They kind of uh, give you the same amount of peppers, onions in there. So we're gonna put the top on it and just kind of pulse it. We're not gonna give it a heavy, we don't wanna you know, slaughter these things. We wanna just like pulse them and get them so that they're at like little tiny minced pieces that will fit perfect with the sauce. And look how quick that was. They, they're actually done. So if you had to chop all those, see this? Isn't this nice? They're perfect. So if you had to chop all of those, that would take you a long time. So I just think about years ago, we didn't have all these wonderful uh, new appliances that we have today, um, how long things took. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put that in my bowl. So if you do like stuffed mushrooms, which most people do, this is a wonderful recipe and you know I will put it up for you guys later. So we have that going. I put everything in my sink today. Hi, Rock. How are you? <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. What is it, a week? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so I've got that mixture in there now, and my ground sausage is all done. And so to it, I'm going to add the um, sausage to this. So I'm just going to get out my spider. These come, things come in handy for everything here. And this way it'll like drain out any of that excess grease or juice because you don't, don't want a soggy mushroom. And I'm going to put it right into the mixture here. I'm going to turn this off because they're done. And to bind it all together, we're going to put some um, Italian flavored breadcrumbs in there. And it makes this delicious mixture. And then we're going to stuff the mushroom. Look how easy this appetizer is. I really didn't think I was going to be able to show you guys how quick it was on camera. I just said to Abby, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the whole thing for them, but we did. Okay, so let me mix this in now. So we've got our sausage. Is that Gracie? That's Gracie. We can let them in. And Pepe. We can let them in. I put this down. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. We're going to let everybody back in. Hold they on. smell food. You know, pets have FOMO. Fear of missing out, and they think they're missing out on food. Come on. So, um, Come on, oh. okay, so we've got our peppers and our onions. Come on, Pepe. Come on, Pep. Come on, Rock. And the sausage mixed together here. Looks beautiful. What a pretty combination it is. Come on. Now to this, I'm going to add some of these Italian flavored breadcrumbs. You can't see you on the thing. Right Whoa. in here. Oh, the top of your head. Hold can't on. see me. Just the top Come of on, my Pepe. head. Just, just shut the door. He'll come back. He'll come back. Got a damn farm here. I know. Okay. Okay, so we added, for those of you that couldn't see, it was a very pretty mixture, the peppers and onions in with the sausage, and then I put in some um, Italian-flavored breadcrumbs here. That's it. We're going to mix the whole thing up. Um, we could add some grated cheese in here, um, some salt and pepper, which I'm going to. And then we're going to stuff them inside here. I am going to drizzle it with just a little olive oil to bind it together. And a little bit of salt and pepper. We don't want them too spicy. So just a little dab. And we'll get this going. Look at that big bowl of goodness. Mm. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, I can just eat that. I know. Mm. The funny part is, is this is probably not going to um, do all 100 mushrooms. Can you believe it? It depends how thick we like to stuff them. I like mine to um, be nice and full. Okay, so we've got all of the breadcrumbs mixed in, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to fill um, a couple of them. And then I like to put mine in, and after I fill them, I like to put mine in an oven, and I like to um, bake them. So like I said, um, I came on here really quick today, guys, because I, I really missed everybody, and I wanted to make sure that I showed you. So I'm going to show you how to just stuff a couple here. So I'm going to get these. Um, I have mine here now in a roasting pan. It has like the handles that you can take up. I don't have anything underneath it because um, you know I don't want I don't want these moist at all. I want them to stay nice and together, and I want the topping to be crispy. So we're going to need a little spoon because we can't use that big thing, and we're just going to take some of the um, filling that we have here, and we're going to stuff it down, push down in, pack it and then put it right on top like this. And there you go, that's how you have a stuffed mushroom. And now when they're done, we're going to just drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil over them and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So um, I'm going to continue to stuff these and then I'm going to bake them. Now they're not gonna take long to bake at all. Um, I wanna say probably 20 minutes, 350. Um, I will definitely watch the clock and I'll put the recipe up. Um, I was just thinking this is probably a really good appetizer that I could put in my cookbook. I'm almost done with all of my recipes in there. I've been working like crazy lately. Listen how quiet everybody is. Well, because Rocky's tearing something up. Oh, that's all right. He's a baby. <laughs> He's a baby boy. He is. <laughs> all right. So guys, this is how you make a simple stuffed mushroom. I wanted to include you guys in my day. 
Um, I got to get back to doing all this catering, but I'm going to take lots of pictures of it. And again, I want to thank you guys for coming into my kitchen, buying my book, making my recipes, and bringing me lots of joy and sunshine. So you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we will stay in touch. Say bye. Look out, Tracker, posing for the camera. <laughs>